get you a quarter jar. Every time Aiden date a new friend, put a quarter in there. You'll be rich. Yo, friend for six years. Starting to friend people you don't like. Oh, new bestie alert, new bestie alert. Period. Uh-uh, I don't play that. I hit hard bars, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch wanna pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo. And today I'm coming to y'all with a Tell It To Mo Tuesday. First episode, so you know it's gonna be lit. Now, the people who submitted these videos, most of them did not say their name. Some of them did, I think, but most of them did not. Basically, what I'm gonna be doing when I do the Tell It To Mo Tuesdays is just you know, listening to what y'all ask me and then giving advice about it. Now, I'm going to try to keep it fresh. I'm going to try to keep it funny because I know y'all like when I act a fool. So, first video, we're going to go watch it real quick. Some of them I watched, some of them I didn't. So. My That's a good question. Um, <laughs> now y'all know. Okay, let me think about maybe a, a, a different ex. Um, well, depending on the situation and how things ended, if it's, yeah, she said it was toxic, right? So if it's toxic, you have to, what what I would do personally or what I did personally is you can mentally or physically weigh out the good and the bad. In any situation, if, your neg if the negative aspect of things is broader than the positive, then it's not good for you. And you just got to tell yourself, I don't need to communicate with them. I don't need to be around them. I don't need to, you know... Um, I, you know, I don't need to be thinking about them. Try to do other stuff. Try to, like I said, go out, meet new people, uh, do something you like. Um, one of your hobbies you ain't really had time for. Replace that time you would be spending with them with something you like. So that way you're not thinking about them. Turn up. When you turn, <laughs> you can go find you a new boo. Period. friend for six years starting to friend people you don't like oh new bestie alert new bestie alert period uh-uh I don't play that because look if you don't like them there's a reason you feel me and if y'all supposed to be best friend hold on y'all I'm recording please just two seconds of quietness I'm almost done that's them bad kids from the last video. But if if you if you don't like somebody and your best friend goes and befriends them, oh, they talking about you. You the topic of discussion, baby. Period. I don't care what nobody say. Because real best friends, y'all talk about everything. So your best friend know you, you don't mess with whoever. So why is you going and being a friend all of a sudden? I don't play that. I wish Mac would. And if you're watching this, I'm mad at you just because of her submission. But yeah, girl, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, excuse me, y'all. Holla at your bestie. Let them know. Why is you being cool with who, 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 who? You know I don't like them. What, what, what's T? Oh, you, you, you on A side now? Y'all, I'm petty like that. I don't know. Maybe that's petty, but at the same time, six years, that's a long time invested in a friend. And you should know me and know that I don't play that. So, my question is, like, why does my ex-boyfriend don't, like, he said he want to be my 
Get to the point. Uh huh. Okay, first of all, you're gorgeous. I just wanted to say that. You are so pretty. Um, because he's a boy. That's why. That's the all wrapped up in one. Because he's a he's a boy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all young. He playing on the football team. He probably fronting, want to look like the man. You know what I'm saying? He probably put his homies on you to see what type of female you are. Dudes do stuff like that, and they're very weird, and that's why I'm the way I am. But other than that, he just young. He probably really do like you. He probably, you know what I'm saying, he's probably one of them secretive people don't really want people in his business. It could be a million and one things. My advice to you would be straight up ask him. Boy, why is you acting funny? <laughs> what is the tea? I thought we was cool. I know we used to date, but what's up? Like, you still like me or something? You want to go to the movies? What's tea? Girl, you better ask him. Ain't nothing wrong with asking. And the worst he can say is, I don't, I don't like you. Okay, and the sun comes up tomorrow. Period. Next one. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I hate cars. I'm starting to really hate cars. But wait, wait. We're gonna play hers again. Cause I I I, I gotta make sure I heard it right. Okay. So you was dating Aiden. Your friends told you to break up with Aiden. Right? You break up with Aiden. Your friend get with Aiden. She ain't your friend. How old are we? Confusion. You shouldn't be worried about boys anyway. You so cute. Leave them boys alone. Get good grades and stack your money. Get you a quarter jar. Every time Aiden date a new friend, put a quarter in there. You'll be rich. Baby girl. It is what it is. Forget about, forget Aiden. It's going to be a billion more boys. You're probably in what? Middle school? I don't swear, Aiden. If Aiden that bogus to date your friend, if your friend that bogus to date Aiden, I'm all over the place. You shouldn't even be talking to boys anyway. Okay? Stop. Don't worry about boys right now. Boys do not matter right now. I'm telling you. I know I sound like your mama or something. But just forget about Aiden. Forget Aiden. He, 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 he. Aiden is bogus. You don't date my friend. What's wrong with Aiden? If you're watching this, Aiden. You don't date people's friends. It's not right. Okay? Next one. Like, what type of 
I've been there. And, and, and it's not coming. Right. So I guess, again, my question is, how do you stay positive with all of the negativity that, you know, you may experience with posting? Okay. I like that question. Um... I'm actually going to do a full video in, on anxiety and how I handle it because I noticed a lot of people been emailing me, DM me, all that about anxiety and how I handle that. So I'm going to hold off on that part of your question because I'm going to do a whole video on it. Well, I'll touch on it a little bit. So I stay motivated because I have to. I don't have another choice. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I had a family once upon a time. And they motivated me, but now I'm in the I'm in the I'm in my self care mode. I have grown to realize that I'm alone. It's just me, my brain, my heart. So, to what motivates me is knowing that I gotta do it for me. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. And then to touch on the part about the anxiety when you post and worrying about what people say people i i promise i was there i've been there i have been when i say i've been there i worried about how i looked i worried about how i sound i worried about how hard i was breathing i worried about it all but at some point in time my drive to do youtube took over all that worry every drop of it so it's like i don't care no more you know what I'm saying? Because I get a lot of positivity. The positivity is always going to outweigh the negativity, especially if you're a genuine person. You seem like one. You're gorgeous, by the way. I love your hair. I'm finna copy. I don't know if it's dreads or twisties. Probably dreads. I'm going to get twisties. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you put stuff out there, it, it takes off... It, Anybody has the, you know, has the ability to see it. At that point, ain't no turning back unless you delete it. So that's how I think about it. Once I post something, it's like, it's over with. I push that button, boom. Ah! You know, it's that little bit of anxiety when you first push that button. But then it's like, who gives a fuck? I don't care what people say about me. I get a billion and one negative comments a day. I do not care. I love them and like them and keep going. And then I see a it's a negative comment, boom, 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 15 good comments. Negative comment, boom, 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 30 good comments. So it's like, like I was saying earlier about um, the best friend situation or the, the you know, the previous uh, tell it to Mo. Outweigh the good and bad. If you got 15 negative comments and a thousand good ones, those negative comments don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And again, it all goes back to self-love and living for you and being so in love with yourself that what the next person say don't even matter. Period. For real. What up, Mo? What up, Mo Mafia? <laughs> here just submitting this question regarding long-distance relationships. I just basically want to get your take on if you whatever do you think they work? How would you handle it? Or go about it if you did have one? Thank you. <laughs> v. Marie. Okay. Um, I think I answered this in my Q&A, but it's fine. I'll touch on it again. Um, I tried it when I was younger, and it didn't work out for me, but I'm a whole new person, and my mind frame is different now. So just going off of that, you know what I'm saying? Long distance relationship, you have to be strong. You know what I'm saying? You have to be very, very into that person. Because I know that not them not being there, like I'm a person I need to feel. I need to see. You know what I'm saying? Talking to you over FaceTime every two days is not going to work for me. You know what I'm saying? And then I got Becky with the big booty throwing it at me. I don't know what to do, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's like, you gotta, you gotta be really into them. I think that if I found somebody that was long distance and I really was into them, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we can do the visiting thing here and there. I think it will work, but it will have to be 
very, 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 very What's the word I'm looking for? It gotta we gotta be connected. You feel me? We gotta have that bond that nobody can break. You know what I'm saying? You gotta mentally touch you gotta serenade my mind. Cause long distance is hard. You know what I'm saying? Man, I I don't know what you doing, you don't know what I'm doing. I got trust issues. I'm a Scorpio. So if uh, Yeah, I don't know. And would I try it? I would. Just to say I did it while I was grown. I would. I would try it. I'm not going to knock it till I try it. You feel me? I would. I would. All right? So, Mo Mafia, that's the end of this video. Thank you, everybody who submitted videos. I love y'all so much. This was a fun video to do. I think I'm going to have start having guests do it with me. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm just chilling in the room. You know? Um... And, yeah, I'm going to start having guests doing it with me, getting their opinion, you know, laughing about little stuff. You know, I think that'll be neat. Like, do it with Mac, maybe do it with Ma, do it with my roommate. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I think that'll be lit. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. Y'all, we going up. I'm not stopping. We on the grind, my mafia. We going to be at 100K by March. That's my goal. 100K by March. If we do that, I'm going crazy. Y'all already know. Period. Now, I want to do some shout-outs because I know that y'all been like, Mo, where the shout-outs at? You playing. I have been playing. Let me go to my last video. No, I'm going to go two videos previous. Mm, which video I want to grab shout-outs from? Um, I'll go to story time with me and Mac. Notification gang, notification squad. Y'all, my face is dry. I just did a black soap treatment. So that's why I look like a crust bucket. I'm sorry. A lot of comments, y'all. Alright. Shout out to that girl, K that girl, KK Baby. Shout out to Ray Jameer Groves. Shout out to Diamond Mrs. Yogi. Shout out to Aqua Joe. Shout out to Precious Reed. Shout out to Tamika Richardson. Shout out to Evil Queen Martellica Adams. Shout out to The T. Shout out to BB03. Shout out to Life with Quira. YouTube niece, you already know. And let me see. Shout out to Matt Katan. And I got a couple shout outs I need to do. I just thought about it. They in my, um, they in my phone. Because y'all be like, you don't ever shout me out. Um, shout out to Honey Honey, okay? She got 12 people at her job to subscribe to me, and you deserve a shout out. Shout out to you. Shout out to Joanna Edwards. Shout out to you. Shout out to Life of Lupus Warriors. Shout out to Steph and Tosh. I want to collab. Y'all go spam Steph and Tosh so we can get that collab in. Okay? Oh, yeah. Shout out to Prissy P, too. Thanks for DMing me back. I can't wait to work with you. We got to set something up. It's lit. All right? And my mafia, we finna get lit because we the shit. Gang.